Hey, Facebook friends and family. Would you log on, please? Get on. I need to say something about don't boo, vote. <laughs> I love that. Don't you love that? I didn't realize that um, our president had actually said that in the 2012. Um, I'm trying to, some may write. I don't know what's going on. So we're talking about getting out and voting and how important it is for us to vote. So I've had a very full morning already. Hey, Brother Terrell, uh, I had a very full morning already. It's been very productive and headed to, this little piece of hair right here, headed to um, my nieces. Hey, Sister Murray, Sister Carla, you in, I know where you at, Carla. <laughs> hey, Sister Hill. So don't boo vote. That's what the president said uh, in his speech on, what was it, third, Friday, Wednesday? And so I want to challenge you. Don't focus on, <laughs> I know, right? That's a long line. Um, don't focus on Trump because I, I have a hashtag. Give us some hearts and all of that so we know that you're out there. But I have a hashtag that says Trump, Trump, Trump. Anybody ever played spades? card games where you trump your player and so you need to trump trump if you don't want if you are a trump fan that's cool that's hey i ain't talking to you i'm talking to those who may even actually be trump followers and they said since i don't like uh hey rants since i don't like trump i'm a republican i'm not gonna vote at all i guess this is my question this is my question this is a man, people have said, he's not a racist. That's what I've heard people say. He's not a racist. Um, but yet you've made racist statements. You've made racist statements. He's not a womanizer. He's not uh, against women. He has women that work for him. They work for him and he's married several women. So he clearly likes women. Amen. But the challenge is he said things about women. He said things about Mexicans. He said things about Muslims. If he's not a racist, he's made racist comments. The question is, is he just a man who provokes hate, who communicates hate? Hey, Sister Eva. Um, so what is it? What is it that would make someone follow this man and vote for this man? So maybe he's not a racist, but he's definitely He's definitely a classist. If you ain't got no money, Trump ain't stunting you. I'm sorry. I don't care. I love white people. I love black people. I love everything that God created. I really do. There's some bugs I don't like, but, and I don't really like snakes. And I'm not a fan of cats. <laughs> Pray for me, y'all. But all races, we love. We ain't tripping on that. But what we're saying is, why would you vote for and follow a man who has no political history, no political understanding, no understanding of policy? He talked for over 70 minutes and gave us nothing. And I'm saying us, listeners, nothing about what his policies were going to look like. He told us he was going to do it all by himself. I will do this. He didn't talk at all. Hey, Sister Stacia. He talked nothing about bringing together the communities, nothing about bringing together the communities. With all of these volatile situations, that's an issue. Whoever our president is should be mindful of that. Can you fix racism? Absolutely not, because it's a human heart issue. It's a human heart issue. And unless you're God, you can't do anything about the heart of a person. Only God can do that. And so should we pray as Christians? Absolutely. But I love the body of Christ. You know that I do. I love the body of Christ. I love the word of God. But after you finish praying, what are you going to do? Are you going to get up and vote? Pray all you want. Say, God, your will be done. Absolutely. But not only do you have a spiritual responsibility, you have a social responsibility to vote. That has been given to us as a right, as a people, not just African-Americans. I'm not even really talking about the struggle to vote. I'm talking about our civic responsibility to vote. You need to vote. We need to, quote again, rock the vote. Don't boo. Vote. Vote. Cast your ballot. If there's anybody in your family that's not registered, they need to register. Do, am I necessarily a Hillary fan? I'm not. 
I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really anybody's fan. I'm on the side of the Lord. I do not believe, not only as a Christian, but as one God has given an anointing to seek his face, which we all have that, but to hear from him and speak, thus saith the Lord, I do not believe it is the will of God. It is the will of God. Now, we know about Nebuchadnezzar. Come on. We know about uh, Cyprus. We know about these wicked kings that God allowed to get in place. He allowed King Saul. He allowed it because the people said, vote him in. That might be what we're seeing with some of this uh, rhetoric with Trump. So will God allow it? Yes, but it's the Bible says God is not God is not schizophrenic. He's not bipolar. So if he said it is his will, I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you, plans to do you no harm, plans to give you a hope in the future. Why would it be his plan to put in a man who provokes hate, who provokes um, violence? When you're pulling people's signs out of their hands and pulling people out of your meetings, something's not right with that. I have a dear friend who, uh, several actually, who are Republicans. Ain't nobody tripping because you're Republican. I'm a Democrat, independent, ain't nobody, but we're all Christians. Interestingly, I have posted something that the, the, con the convention was full, was hate, fear-focused. That's what I said. It was fear-focused. And they said, no, it wasn't fear-focused. Um, it wasn't fear-focused. Right, if it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, it's a duck. Holler, quack, quack. Donald Trump. So um, they said it wasn't full of hate. It wasn't full of uh, fear. I said, I didn't say it was full of fear. I said it was fear focused. It wants society to become afraid. Black people against white people. Black people, uh, black, black lives matter against the police. No, no. Blue lives matter. First of all, I don't know of a blue life, but do police matter? Absolutely. Every human life matters. Every single human life matters. Every single human life matters. White, black, red, brown, yellow, doesn't matter. Every human life matters. And we need to be mindful. As so if every human life matters and the president of the United States doesn't talk about any life that matters, is that not a problem to you? I had someone inbox me and say, actually they posted it on my page after I posted the video of Pastor Jeffrey A. Johnson at that town hall meeting where he just spoke a prolific, on time, bold word. And they said, they said, you know, we are to love. Absolutely, we are to love. We are to love. But I went on and I encouraged them to read all of 1 Corinthians 13 because one of the one of that of the passage says, love does not celebrate, come on somebody, injustice. So if you're gonna talk about love is patient and love is kind, quote the whole scripture. Don't just pull out the parts you won't. Yes, we need to love. Yes, we need to forgive. Absolutely. Yes, we, but we also need to band together. The, the Bible, God said, who will cry out for justice? Who's going to cry out for injustice? Who's going to cry out when something is, when an unjust behavior is being done against the people? He told uh, King Solomon, when you read Proverbs 31, before that, the mother is giving instruction to Solomon to stand up against those, stand and speak against where there is injustice. So we with all of that. We have clear understanding of all of that. And so be mindful of listen, folk, listen to what he's saying. He wants to No, you don't see, you know, I, I trip because it's hot out here. And I'm sweating. And we we trip because everybody's talking about he's so bold. He's so bold. And he says what other people don't say. Okay, the Bible also says that everything that's permissible is not beneficial. Just because you can't say it don't mean you should. My mama used to say, if you ain't got nothing good to say, you need to shut your mouth. Hello, somebody. So also the Bible says, uh, do not entertain foolish conversation. So some of the things he has said has been foolish. But yet people think there's something popular about that. This man is dangerous. They wanted to say that Obama was the Antichrist. Well, first of all, if you understand anything about scripture, Obama would not be the Antichrist. Uh, the description of where the Antichrist comes from and what he's going to be about and even physically what he may look like, it ain't Obama. I just want you to go read the scripture. And it might look like somebody else that might be running. So you better Trump Trump. That's all I'm saying. You need to vote. 
black folks. I ain't really with Hillary. You know, I ain't really with Trump. But if you're a Democrat, you need to vote. If you're a Republican and you're saying, I don't agree with Trump and I'm not a Republican, so I cannot vote Democrat. Just what do you want your children to grow up under? What, what do you want your grandchildren to grow up under? These are the things we have to ask ourselves. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell off on myself. The last term of Bush, oh boy, from uh, Massachusetts was running. And he was the first state at that time who approved gay marriage. Now, ain't nobody tripping on the gays. I love all God's people. I agree with God. I agree with what God's word says. Y'all know me. When I was out there doing what I was doing, that was sin. And so because it was sin, I sought the Lord to help me, to give me the strength and the grace to not fall out of his grace and to do without, because, you know, the grace, grace, grace helps us to not do stuff we ain't supposed to be doing. And if we struggle in it, <laughs> dump Trump, I agree. Uh, <laughs> I, um, if we struggle in it, then God will step in and help us. It, you may have to keep coming to him, but he will. So let me say, so as I was saying, when that man passed that law, and allowed that law, the first state, to do that. Y'all ready for this? I, Democrat, always voted. I grew up voted for Bush because that principle I had to stand on. I had to stand on that. Was I a Bush fan? Absolutely not. Hated his policies. Hated things that how he had treated our our people in New Orleans and all of these issues with African Americans in our community. But I had to make a decision because I knew what the word said about that sin or struggle or lifestyle, whatever you want to call it. Love you. God knows I have a ministry for those who are struggling in that lifestyle. And I have seen God bring people through. So ain't nobody tripping on your lifestyle. God loves you. What he hates is the sin. So when we talk about Republicans, I don't like Hillary, but I don't agree with Trump. So therefore, I'm not going to vote. You need to vote. You need to stand on the principles. Christians, Christians, you got to stand on the principles of what is right and what is God. And if you can tell, listen, this dude, they asked him, what does it mean to be a Christian? Who is Jesus to him? He couldn't even say what it meant. But yet you get a black preacher to stand up at the convention and do the opening prayer. You get a black sheriff or black captain or whatever he was to say something about black lives. I don't even remember it. But you said, this is what the preacher said, and he's a Christian. The man couldn't even tell you what it means to be a Christian. What does it mean for Jesus to be Savior and Lord? He couldn't even say that in his interviews. So you have all these and the evangelicals. Hmm. What's that about? Have you heard an evangelical yet say that black lives matter? That the injustice against our young black men? Have you had one evangelical? I just, we got to be clear. I ain't talking about just preachers. I ain't talking about just pastors. I'm clear. So you got to know what policy has he talked about for education? <laughs> Shoot, just vote alone on Hillary who's talking about she's going to help people to not have all this interest in student loans. Lord have mercy. She was my friend right there. But anyway, understand your principles. You know, scripturally, what are you standing on as a Christian? Ain't nobody got to know that you voted for Hillary and you're a Republican. <laughs> Don't nobody got to know that. Nobody got to know that. But if you're making a decision based on all lives matter, because all lives matter to God, whether you're a Christian or not. That is not what Trump is teaching. That is not what he's talking about. He has He still says crazy stuff, but they pulled his chain. That's the only reason he ain't saying as much crazy stuff. So I want you to be mindful. Vote. Vote. If people in your family ain't registered. Get them registered. Just like we want to get them saved, get them registered. These next eight years... And I'm speaking, thus saith the Lord, these next eight years are going to be detrimental to this here United States that God's hand is on. It's on our money. It's on our pledge. It's on in the Constitution. These next eight years is going to be critical. If the first four is with Trump and the next four is with somebody else, hear what the Lord is saying. This is not a time for us to just stand on um, similar to denominations, this is not the time for us to stand simply on what political position we take. Let's take the position of 
God? What does God have to say about how people should be treated, how our community should be treated, how we are to love one another? God said, let the perfect love of God cast out hate. Come on now. Where's his love? Where's his compassion? Do you really want a man? Let's talk about it. Do you really want a man, as Hillary said, who can be thrown into a Twitter battle sitting in the Oval Office? Do you really want that? Handling wars and policies. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. He's a businessman. And, and all what he's done, and he's admitted it in business, he's surrounded himself by people who know what they're doing. So he doesn't have to be the expert in the room. But is that what you want for your president? Is that what you want for your president? So I just charge us vote, get your family vote, register to vote, just like you sharing Jesus with them, share with them a, 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 a registration application. <laughs> Hallelujah. So God is faithful. God is faithful. And yes, his will will be done. But after we pray, he requires us to do something. And our responsibility in the doing is to inform ourselves and vote. Don't boo. Vote. Let's Trump Trump. God bless you. You have a great weekend. Okay, how do I... <laughs> Y'all know this is too funny. Love you!